Hey, man. I haven't been able to be watching this thing. Have you looked into it again? All right, folks, uh, here we go. Good afternoon. Welcome to New York City Council's remote committee hearing on housing and buildings. Everyone, please turn on your video at this time. Silence all electronic devices. Chairperson, we're ready to begin. Uh, thank you so much. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to vote on a bill that would extend assistance related to accessory signs. In 2018, a significant increase in DOB violations related to accessory signs impacted many small businesses across the city. To prevent additional businesses from being affected, Local Law 28 of 2019 established a two-year moratorium on the issuance of accessory sign violations. For certain businesses that have already received violations, the law also established a temporary DOB assistance program to facilitate the installation of compliant accessory signs, which included a 75% waiver on related permit fees. The temporary DOB assistance program established by Local Law 28 of 2019 expired six months after its enactment and a moratorium of violations expired in 2021. However, due to COVID-19 crisis, the installation of compliance signs has been delayed. Further, impacted small businesses are increasingly unable to pay for the installation of compliance signs or withstand the financial burden of a new violation. To address these concerns, proposed intro number 2044A, sponsored by Council, Council Member Holden, would extend the moratorium and the temporary DOB assistance program established by Local Law 2018 of 2019 for another two years. To reduce costs, it would also inc increase the 75% waiver of permit fees related to installing an accessory sign to 100% waiver. I'm joined today, uh, Austin, if you could just see the, um, the um, role. Uh, I can't see everybody, oh, I'm sorry. Sure, I can read off who's here. Um, so currently we have council members Rivera, Chin, Rosenthal, Gredenchik, Lewis, Joni, Perkins, and Cabrera, and council member Holden, who has an opening statement as well. Thank you, uh, Council Member Holden. If you'd like to issue your opening statement, now is the time, sir. Yes, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Member Cornegy, for being a strong advocate for small businesses and helping move intro 2044A across the finish line. As you and my colleagues are aware, small businesses are the lifeblood of our communities, and we need um, to alleviate their burdens whenever possible. Uh, even before the pandemic, regulations and fines on small businesses were often burdensome and punitive. COVID-19 has made the matter all the more urgent. As you will recall, prior to Local Law 28, our small businesses were being hit with fines of up to $20,000 over a sign or awning violation. In my district, commercial strips uh, along Jamaica Avenue, Fresh Pond Road, Grand Avenue, and others were hit particularly hard. Uh, with intro 2044A, we are extending the expired two-year moratorium on sign fee violations for additional two additional years. We're also extending the temporary Department of Buildings Assistance Program for two years, which of course assists business owners in legalizing their signs. And equally important, this bill would waive, uh, like the chair said, 100% of the fees. This is the type of support our small businesses need. So I want to thank all the co-sponsors of Metro 2044A and other members who are supporting this bill. I also want to thank Speaker Corey Johnson, Jason Goldman, and the staff of the Speaker's Office for their assistance. Also, a big thank you to Chair Carnegie, Housing and Buildings uh, Committee staff, especially Council Austin Bradford and Christopher Pepe of the Legislative Division for their hard work on this bill. Last but certainly not least, my staff, Chief of Staff uh, Daniel Krasina, Communications Director Kevin Ryan and Legislative Director Craig Kawana. Together, uh, we're going to provide immediate relief to businesses uh, across uh, the city. I strongly encourage all my colleagues to vote aye on intro 2044A. And again, I wanna thank uh, Chair Cornicky. Back to you. Thank you, uh, Council Member Holden for this bill. 
Um, we'll now ask Clerk William Martin to please call the roll. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings, proposed introduction 2044A, Chair Cornegy. I proudly vote aye. Rivera. Strongly vote aye. You got it. Thank you. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. I vote aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Jonai. I vote aye. Thank you. Uh, Lewis. I vote aye. By vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, and proposed introduction 2044A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the hearing on housing and buildings is now commenced. Thank you all. Commenced. Wait a second. <laughs> That can be used for beginning and or end, all the English teachers here. All right.